Hello and thanks for joining me today for this little lesson or uh, it's more a little tip for you. Uh, it's about playing in the thumb position. I actually started as an electric bass player and when I started playing the acoustic upright bass I found it quite f confusing already in this part of the bass, the fact that you don't use this finger, you have to learn a whole lot of new fingerings. Then this part of the bass is even more confusing. So basically I thought, wow, thumb position, I will probably need yours to know how this works. And then one day I got an idea. The idea is to think about playing the thumb position as if you would be playing the electric bass. Let me explain this. On the electric bass, you usually play with one finger per fret. So you have four chromatic notes. And to play some scales, uh, for each type of scale, you can just memorize a certain graphic pattern that you can transpose on every place of the fingerboard. So for instance, uh, the pattern for a major scale looks like this. And this is what it looks like when you play it on the electric bass. And then I thought, wow, I can use exactly these patterns, these systems, to play the scale up here. The only difference is that I don't use these four fingers, I use these four fingers. But the pattern looks the same. So a major scale, I just play it this way. I, so I basically only use a position where I have half steps between the fingers. Of course, this is just really a little help to get you started with the thumb position. There are much more advanced concepts where you use the fact that you can have much bigger intervals between the thumb and the other fingers. But for now, let's stick to this concept to have really just uh, four notes which are all just a semitone apart. So let's try another scale. For instance, the blue scale. This is what it would look like on the electric bass. And now on the acoustic bass. Or any other mode. Dorian. So basically all the knowledge I had from the electric bass, I could translate it to the acoustic bass. And thanks to this, I only needed a couple of days to be able to play simple melodies in the thumb position. So I would like to give you an example now. I chose a standard. I could write a book and it's in C major. And Nearly the whole melody is in this one octave. There are only two places where you, you need a D. So there we will make a little shift. So, let's try it. Two, one, two.
as you could see with the exception of the D, all the notes were in this position and also the solo I did completely in this one position. So that's it basically. What you can do now, you can just uh, practice different scales where you know the fingerings from the electric bass and translate this on the thumb position on the acoustic bass. You can play exercises with these scales or just improvise or you can also take a melody to start off better choose a melody that would be only in one octave. Yeah and have fun. I was really surprised myself when I discovered this little trick that playing in thumb position is not that crazy difficult as I first thought it would be. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you didn't do that yet. That would help me very much and see you again very soon. Bye bye.